What is it, nurse? Oh, God, warn me next time. Ew! We have a burn victim from a three-story apartment fire! Well, let me guess. He was on the third story? Yes, he completely got on fire, jumped out the window, and look, he landed on his fingers! Yeah, you never want to land fingers first. That's how you break your fingers. I was trying to catch myself. Yeah, I can see that. So, buddy, how much pain are you in? A lot. Hmm, well, that's not helpful. Nurse, get the Wong Baker pain scale. All right, I got it. Now, sir, which of these faces represents your pain? Ugh, the crying one. Well, I don't see you crying, so you're lying. Sir, his tear ducts burnt off in the fire. Oh, okay. Well, I think we should probably do a skin graft. Oh, I already got one. What? No, nurse, not a skin pie chart, a skin graft. Oh, okay. Ugh. No, not a skin bar graft, a skin graft. Um, let me look. Ugh. No, not a skin graft, a skin graft. What? Well, it's where you take new skin and you graft it onto his body. Ew! Look, just go into the skin drawer and get some new skin. All right, uh, sir, what color would you like? Uh, white. Ugh, everybody always picks white. Even Michael Jackson picked white. I'll go look. Uh, what's wrong with your head? What, my head? Yeah, you're bald. Well, I am losing a little bit of hair. No, on the back, it's really bad. Well, I do have a bald spot, yeah. Ha ha, bald! Well, you're bald too! Yeah, but I had hair before the fire. I'd rather look like this than look like you, baldy. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, all we have is black. Ugh. Mervyn, let's watch a movie. Well, what movie do you want to watch? I don't know. Well, you're the one who wants to watch a movie. You got to pick. Hey, Daddy. What do you want, Jeffy? Ha, I got your mustache. Well, Jeffy, give me my mustache back. No, ha, sure. Give it back, Jeffy. All right, Daddy, here you go. <laughs> Mervyn, it looks like you have a unibrow. All right, everyone, <laughs> shut up. <sighs> Ugh, there's someone at the door. Let me fix my mustache and answer it. Hello? Hold on. Let me just finish up this text. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? Somebody made fun of me and hurt my feelings. <laughs> well, like you were just texting, so it just seems like you're, <laughs> I'm so sad. Seems like you're crying for attention. No, I'm crying because my feelings got hurt. Well, come on and explain it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aw, why is he crying? Someone hurt his feelings. His name was Curtis. Curtis hurt his feelings. Well, his name was Curtis Furtis. Curtis Furtis hurt his feelings. Well, that wasn't very nice of Curtis Furtis. What did Curtis Furtis say to you? Well, Curtis Furtis was a burn victim, and he came into the ER, and he made fun of me for being bald. You're not bald. I'm a little bald. <laughs> 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 okay, you're really not that bald. Well, there's all kinds of mean things I could have said to the burn victim, like, you look like Anakin Skywalker after he lost his fight, or you look like Deadpool without his mask on, or you look like Paul Walker after the car accident. But I didn't say those things. I was the bigger man, and I ran away crying. Well, I think you should just not deal with that patient anymore. Well, I just came here to ask you how you live with being ugly and bald. I'm not bald. Uh, you're kind of bald. I have hair on the sides of my head. Marvin, if you stood outside in direct sunlight, you could blind someone. But I am not bald, I have hair! Marvin, sometimes at night I pretend you're Dr. Phil so I can get off. I get that. What? Dr. Phil is a very fine man. When he said, it doesn't matter how much you flatten a pancake, it still has two sides, that made me want to have sex with him. I do not look like Dr. Phil. I know, because if you did, I'd want to have sex with you. All right, let's get back on track. You are not that bald. I know, I just wish I looked as good as I did in high school. I had so much hair, I was so hot. Oh, the things I'd do to my high school self. I, I mean, I wouldn't do anything with my high school self, because he's in high school and that would be illegal and chronologically impossible. But if I was back in high school with me when I was in high school, I would probably still bang my sex ed teacher, Miss Thickums. She was in the last video. You should check that out. And the new gaming channel, we're doing that now. Anyway, I want hair. Well, why don't you just do a hair transplant? Well, I, I would have to do it myself because I'm the only doctor in town, so I'd have to do it like I did my own vasectomy. And let me tell you, it is a bit of a mess down there. Whenever I pee, my balls fill up like water balloons. That's not normal. No, it's not. I really got to get back in there and figure that out. Well, why don't you just go to a makeover person and get a makeover? Well, I don't know any makeoverologists, do you? Well, Chef Pee, -Pee has a gay cousin. Ooh, did you say gay and cousin? And Chef Pee Pee? And has? Yeah, I can go ask Chef Pee Pee if his cousin will give you a makeover. Okay, do it! Alright. Ooh, whoop another grease! Whoop another grease! Whoop another grease! Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, what's up, Marvin? You want some instant grits? I made them from scratch. No, I don't really want grits, and I don't think that's how you make them. I know how to make grits. I'm making them from scratch. This is exactly how you make it in a pan. Look, I feel like a southern black lady in the kitchen. Go and get you some grits. Go get you that bowl over there and get some grits. I know you look as skinny as hell. No, I, I don't want any grits. Listen, don't you have a gay cousin who's like a hairstylist? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know who you're talking about, Gay Tony. 
Gay Tony? Yeah, that's his name. He's gay and his name is Tony. <laughs> he told us to call him that. Well, can you call him over? Because I have a friend that wants a complete makeover. Oh, yeah. He would love to give your friend a makeover. Shit, I need a makeover myself. I'm looking dingy as hell. Look at my outfit. Goddamn. Well, why don't you just call Gay Tony over because we really need him. <sighs> yeah, I'll call him over, but I'm going to warn you. Stay five steps away from him. He likes to kiss all over you. All right, hold still. All right, Chef Pee called his cousin and he's on his way over. Look, Marvin, I'm fixing it. Is she Marvin or is she lying? Uh, it doesn't look good at all. Oh, you bitch. Oh, why I oughta. Okay, hold on. Listen, the hairstylist is on his way. Makeoverologist? Yeah, that. That must be him. You just stay right here. Hello. Oh, my God. You must be Marvin. You must be gay Tony. Oh, what gave it away? My appetite for penis? Uh, excuse me, my bad. <laughs> Had a cough in my throat. <laughs> You little silly goose, man. You look so handsome. Cute. Oh, give me a kiss. We just met. Wait, I don't want to give you a kiss. Listen, I need you here for a makeover for my friend. Oh, I can't wait to do that makeover. I love doing makeovers. Oh, I wish you were the makeover, though. I'm not. I'm not. But he's upstairs. Come on. Oh, oh my God. I can't wait. Gay Tony's here. Oh, my God. I'm so happy to meet all of you. Oh, I love your necklace. Oh, my God. Thanks. Slay queen. So awesome. Yeah. Girl, let me tell you about today. The hottest guy walked into my salon. I'm talking about a dream boat, a real man. And he needed to use the bathroom. And I'm like, sir, the bathroom is open for business. Piss on my face already. <laughs> he just kissed me. I love that for you. I love it for me too. Now where is that makeover? He's right there. Oh my God, is that Dr. House? Oh my God, he's a real doctor, right? I am a doctor, a doctor yeah. yeah. Oh my God, Mr. Moneybag. I can't wait till after this makeover. I might have to do him. Mm. No, thank you. I'm good. My hair's just a little patchy. Ooh, I love me a redhead. There's something fiery about them. Oh, likes a fire under my bottom. I like my herpes. Oh, I just recently had an outbreak. He kissed me on my mouth. Eee! Oh, kisses for everybody. No, no, no I'm no, good. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, what do we need for this, uh... Let's do over. Uh, so he, he needs his hair fixed, his eyes fixed. Do, do you know what I need? I need a gay montage to think this over. Come on, let's get it started. A gay montage? Dude, I'm so tall. Look at my legs, Marvin. <laughs> oh, my nuts. <laughs> I'm back. Oh my god, you have a little boo-boo. Let me kiss it. Let me kiss no, it. No, 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 it's okay. Oh, fine. Thanks for the legs, man. Yeah, no problem. I gave you two new legs, and uh, I can't wait to see the third one. <laughs> yeah, I do wish you would have helped me out more in that department, and I still have to fix the vasectomy situation. But hey, look at my mustache, Marvin. It's so fuzzy like a caterpillar. And look at my hair. Go ahead and touch it. I know you want to. It feels like a giraffe. Okay, well, you don't know your animals, but thank you. Yep, no patches! Marvin, he's so hot! What? You think he's hot? Yeah, look how tall he is! Yeah, look how tall I am, Marvin. Hey, how's the ground down there? That's what tall people say. We're both standing on the same ground. Yeah, but I'm further away from it, so I don't know what my next step's gonna be like, so I need you tiny people to tell me. We're standing on my couch. Yeah, that's kind of weird, now that you mention it. I mean, how big is this couch? I mean, if this were to scale, this couch would be fucking massive. Really, your whole house would be. How high are your ceilings? That's weird. Anyway, back to puppet land. Can you make me as hot as him? No, I'm busy. Oh, I got a grinder appointment with Enrique, oh, my spicy little chorizo. But uh, how are you gonna pay me? <laughs> with money? Oh, fine, Venmo me then. He, he didn't give me his Venmo. That's okay, I'm sure he'll remember. Anyway, I'm off to the strip club. Wait, you, you finally look really good and you're going to the strip club? Well, yeah, when you look this good, you don't have to pay to impress women. Well, then why would you go to a strip club? Those women only want money. Well, they're gonna want me because I'm so handsome. But like, I don't understand why you'd go Just to let me hop away! Why are you hopping? I haven't had legs in years. I want to hop. Short sure tooth. Move aside, big spender. I'm tall and handsome. Oh my god, yes you are. What's your name, miss? My name's Stardust. Nice to meet you, Stardust. You are very attractive. I would like to have intercourse with you. For free. Oh my god, babe, with legs like those, you can have me. I have legs too. Yeah, but you're short. I am same height. 
And he has a full head of hair. Yeah, the hair, the hair. Yes, that's right. I have hair. So come on, Stardust. Let's blow this Popsicle stand. Oh my god, is your name Popsicle stand? Oh, I like where this is headed. Let's go back to my house. Honey, I'm home. Oh, Boydie, I missed you. Oh my god, Boydie, did you get a new suit? Well, yeah, I did, but what else do you notice? Did you get a tan? Well, maybe a little bit, but that's not the main attraction. Oh, who's your friend? She's a stripper. Oh, where'd you meet her? At the strip club. Boy, I thought you were at work as a doctor. I was, and then something happened. What? I got legs, Karen. Oh my god, Boyd, where'd you get those? A gay man gave them to me, and now I'm going to leave you for her. What, why, Boyd? Because I'm hot, and she's hot, and that's the way the world works. But, Boyd, I love you. Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. I don't want to be with you anymore. <laughs> <sighs> get naked, please. That stupid man steal my stripper before I get to see tit? <laughs> hey there, do you see a man with orange mustache inside? He's on the couch with the stripper! <laughs> Perfect, thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pow right in the kisser! Oh man, that was great. I didn't have to take my suit off. Anyway, you can leave. The post-nut clarity's starting to kick in. Yeah, you see tit before me? Hey, I did more than see tit. I motorboated. I kill you! What? No! No, what are you doing? What are you doing to my leg? No! Don't cut my legs off! He's cutting my legs off! You can't see it, but he's cutting them off and it hurts so bad! All right, sir, here are your discharge papers. Thank you. You sure you don't want that skin graft? Uh, no. My legs! Doctor, what happened? Some psychopath cut off my new legs. But, doctor, these are prosthetics. I know, but they look so nice. Well, you still look nice. <laughs> oh, sir, sir, stop it! What are you doing? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I just, I'm hot now, I don't know the rules, I feel like I can do whatever I want, I'm sorry, okay? Just uh, please don't report me to HR. Actually, the HR lady is kind of hot. No, 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 don't, 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 don't do that. Well... No, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't report me. My legs! Hey guys, it's Logan. We officially launched an SML gaming channel. Go subscribe right now. We're going to be uploading gaming videos every single day, just like this Roblox one you see on your screen right now. So please go subscribe to the new SML gaming channel for new content every single day. Push, put, click the, click the forward arrow again, I guess. I promise you I'm pressing it. I'm clicking the hell out of it. I fell. We're having a good time. <laughs> oh my oh, God. Damn, what the hell? Oh, what, what the fuck is what? happening, Joseph? Oh, we're going to get beheaded. Know. Oh my God. It's Joseph. That doesn't make Help. sense. Help. <sighs> I'm just going to lay back, watch some TV and enjoy my drink. Hey, Boyne. Can we put up Christmas lights tonight, please? Put, put up Christmas lights? It's the day before Christmas Eve. Putting up Christmas lights would be totally pointless at this point. We're just going to take them down in three days. But Boyne, we're the only house in the neighborhood Lights. Well, that's because we're the only house in the neighborhood that's smart enough not to raise our electric bill. It wouldn't raise it that much. Oh, that's easy for you to say because you don't have a job. I pay the bills. But, Boyne, how will Santa Claus see our house without Christmas lights? Nobody in this house believes in Santa Claus. What about your daughter? Oh, come on. Penelope's way too smart to believe in Santa Claus. Watch. Penelope, get in here. What, Dad? Do you believe in Santa Claus? Yeah. See, she doesn't believe- Wait, what? You believe in Santa Claus? How old are you? You don't know how old I am? What? Yeah, of course I know how old you are. I know how old my own daughter is. I, uh, hold on, don't tell me. Uh, when did me and your mom get divorced? Wait, okay, what month is your birthday? Oh my god, I hate you! Oh, come on! It... See, she doesn't believe in Santa Claus. Boyney, who's gonna help me put lights up? Please help me! It's not gonna be me, because I'm not having a good day. I'm tired, my shirt has a stain on it, and this is my favorite shirt, okay? I'm not in the mood to do it tonight. Find somebody else. Aww. What? Who could that be? Hello? Hey, production guy. Mom wants you to know if you're coming to our house for Christmas. Hell no. <laughs> Boyney, who is that on the phone? It's just my brother Jonathan. Oh, is that your wife? Tell her that daddy says hi. She'll know who it is. I'm not telling her that. Boyney, ask him if he's ever hung Christmas lights. I'm not gonna ask him if he's hung them. Is your wife asking if I'm hung? T tell her I'm hung like a horse. <laughs> Ew, Jonathan. Boyney, since you won't hang Christmas lights for me, maybe he will. Is your wife asking if I can hang her Christmas lights? I'm on my way. Wait, no, no, John Jonathan, don't... <clears throat> Look what you did. Now I have to see my brother. But, Boyney, that's good family time. No, not with him it's not. No, no, no. That can't possibly be him. Hello? Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. Boyney, you cover your eyes. W why? It's a surprise. W what is it? Just trust me and cover your eyes. I'm not coming outside until you give me a hint. Let's just say Santa came a little early this year. That doesn't sound good. Just come on. 
one. Okay. Okay, don't peek. Don't peek. Only open your eyes when I tell you to. You better not have your wiener out again, Jonathan. That was one time, I swear. Okay, open them. I don't see anything. You have to turn around. Oh my god, Jonathan! You put lights on our house! Jonathan, you're so amazing! Thank you, Jonathan! You hear that, Birkin guy? You're right screaming my name. Jonathan, you didn't even stick with a the theme. It's just a mess. You've got a manger and you got Santa in a speedboat. Boydie, it's the thought that counts. He did something nice for me, something that you wouldn't do! Oh, you hear that, Birkin guy? I please your wife. I did something that you can't do. I just didn't feel like doing it, Jonathan. Jonathan, you should come inside. Oh, you hear that, Birkin guy? Jesus Christ, Jonathan. Uh, this couch is so comfy. Do you mind if I stay the night? No, leave. I believe your wife asked me to come inside. Not the first time she's asked me to do that. Jonathan, I'm so glad that you came. How'd you know? Is there a sting? Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Ew, Jonathan, just go. Fine, but before I go, I'm making my list of Santa. Do you want me to write anything on there for you? Wait, you're writing a letter to Santa Claus? Jonathan, you're 30 years old. Santa isn't real. You don't believe in Santa? No, Jonathan, we have this conversation every year. There is no such thing as Santa Claus. But I have proof. Jonathan, the, the, the movie The Santa Claus with Tim Allen is not proof. Well, fine. I'll leave, but before I go, I'll make sure that you believe no matter what I do. Okay, great. Just leave. Fine, non-Santa believer. All right, baby. I'm out. If you need me, you got my number. No, she doesn't. Man, I'm so glad he's gone. Did you hear the door close? I'm gonna go make sure he left. What? He left my door open! Well, at least he left. I need to get a restraining order on him. <laughs> Then what are you doing in my tree? I, I got lost on the way out. No, you didn't. Get out of here. Yeah, fine. Go, go, get, get out of my house. I'm gonna make him believe in Santa. Jesus Christ, did you see that? See, that's why he's not allowed over here. He's annoying. But Boiny, he's so nice though. Nice? You think him making inappropriate jokes every two seconds is nice? Boiny, he's your brother. You love him. No, no, I don't love him. I don't even believe he's related to me. He doesn't look like me. I'm just really stressed out and I want to go to bed. Boiny, you should go say goodnight to your daughter. She doesn't like me. Of course she does, Boiny. You're her father. You only get to see her one night the whole year. Go spend time with her, tell her you love her, and that she means a lot to you. And you work really hard to take care of her. Yeah. Yeah, you know what, Karen? You're right. I do work hard. I'm gonna go upstairs and tell her how much I love her. Okay, I'm just gonna go in there and talk to my daughter. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, hey, Penelope. Uh, no, I gotta give her, like, a cute nickname, like I'm a cool dad, like, like, hey, Penny! No, I don't like that. Um, hey, hey, Lopey? Lopey, that's a fat name. I'm just gonna wing it. Hey there, Beanie Weenie! Beanie Weenie, what the hell does that mean? No, I've never called her that in my entire life. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, okay, listen, Penelope, I'm, I'm not really good at this whole talking thing, or even really being a dad for that matter. I mean... You were an accident. I, I mean, not like a bad accident, like a like a good accident. Like like when you get rear-ended and, and then the person hits you really hard and you think you, that your car is going to be totaled, but then you get out and look at it and it's really not that bad. It's just a little dent in the back and you can probably buff it out. You know, it's that's like you. And, and, and then you, you learn to love the dent because it's it's your dent. You know, it's what makes that car your car. It's it's just a little dent in your car that helps you tell it apart from other cars. That's, that's you. You're, you're my dent. You know, like when I'm in the Walmart parking lot and there's two cars right next to each other that look identical, I know which one's mine, because it's the one with the big dent in the back. And, and that's you. You're, you're my nice little dent. That could be your nickname, Denty. That, that kind of sucks. L listen, Penelope, I, what I'm trying to say is I love you, and I, I probably shouldn't... I'm probably not around as much as I should be, and it's because I'm working, you know? I, I want to take care of you. I mean, what would you ra would, would you rather that I was around all the time and we'd be poor, or... Or I'm, I'm not around as much because I'm working and we'd be not as poor. But I mean, I can still afford to buy you things, like like Fortnite and those nice headphones you have. That you... you can't hear me, can you? You're not even listening. But Pen Penelope! Penelope! What? What? Dad, what are you doing here? I just, I wanted to, I, 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 I don't, I don't know. <sighs> so, Boyney, what did she say? Oh, she said she loves me so much and I'm the best dad ever. Oh, that's so sweet, Boyney! Yeah. So, boy, need you want to fool around? No, there's been plenty of fooling around already tonight. Come on, boy, need give me some sugar! No, I'm not in the mood. Your brother Jonathan would give me attention! Well, oh, oh, I'm sorry! So you want me to be like Jonathan, huh? Well, Jonathan pees the bed! Do you want me to pee the bed? Okay, I'll pee the bed. No, that's not what I meant! No, it's too late, I'm peeing the bed! Buddy, you better not! I just cleaned your sheets! I'm joking. I don't even have to go. 
Good night. Okay, so I'm gonna break into his house, leave a bunch of presents, and then Brooklyn guy's gonna have to believe Santa's real. Now to get this door open. Just not roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah, there. Once Brooklyn guy sees all these presents, he's gonna have to believe in Santa. Well, Time to get out of here. Oh, oh, one of the ornaments fell. Santa would not let that happen. Time to put it back. <laughs> wow, it's really high up there. Silent night, holy night, holy holy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. What, what, Karen, what was that noise? Go back to sleep, boy, Nate. Oh, I hope Brooklyn Guy didn't hear that. I gotta pick up this tree so he doesn't notice. Picking up the Christmas tree because I dropped it on the ground. Brooklyn Guy would be so mad at me if he found out I wasn't Santa Claus. No, 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 no! Oh. Uh, okay, what was that noise? What if it's a robot body? I'm gonna go check it out. What the hell is going on? What? Ah! Brooklyn Guy! Ugh, somebody get this damn tree off me! So, Brooklyn Guy, do you believe in Santa Claus now? Jonathan, what are you doing in my house? I, I'm not Jonathan, I'm Santa Claus. Santa Claus?! Oh, hey, baby. Lucky for you, this Santa comes more than once a year. What, Jonathan, get out of here! It's not before I get my milk and cookies! <laughs> and then don't you dare touch my damn milk and cookies! Pour some milk, pour some milk, chocolate chip cookies! In my tummy, they're so yummy, hope Brooklyn Guy doesn't kill me. What's all that noise? <gasps> Santa? What are you doing here? You came early! Not again! Jonathan, I'm gonna kill you! Dad, Santa's here! That's not Santa Claus, that's... That, that's, uh, that, uh, that's, uh, that, that's St. Nicholas is who that is. That's his, that's his full name. Oh my god, Dad, you're always so technical. Santa's here! Your father called me and asked me to come over and see what he wanted for Christmas. Oh my god, Dad, you know Santa? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're real tight. We're, we're like brothers. Yeah, we're so tight. Your dad said I could even eat all of his cookies. Mm, I don't know about that. I think I said you could have one or two. No, you definitely said every single one. Dad, oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever! You're the coolest dad ever! But really? Okay, well, you better get to bed, because me and Santa need to talk. Oh, okay. Okay, Jonathan, that was a very nice thing you did, so I'm not going to call the police. But you are the police. I know, I know, but I'm not going to press charges for all the destruction you did in my living room and for breaking into my house. D that was not me! Jonathan, just get out of my house. Okay, okay, I'm just going to take these and uh, be on my way. No, 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 you leave the cookies. Oh, come on, where's your Christmas spirit? <laughs> What a ridiculous night. But that was so nice of Jonathan. Oh yeah, it was really nice how he broke into our house, destroyed our Christmas tree, and ate all our cookies. Very nice. Aw, but he made Penelope so happy. Yeah, whatever. Ugh, good night, boy, eh? Good night, Cameron. Oh, Boyne! Karen, I told you I'm not in the mood. Then what are you poking me with? That's my candy cane. Wait, Jonathan, what the hell are you doing in here? Get out of here! <laughs> Whatever Jeffy says, you have to do it. I'm not playing this game. Come on, Marvin. It'll be fun. He's gonna make us do something stupid. No, he won't. And the loser has to pay me a hundred bucks. What? Jeffy says raise your left hand. Jeffy says put it down. Jeffy says go ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Jeffy says go ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> there we go. Jeffy says say pee pee. Pee pee. Jeffy says give me 50 bucks. What? No, Jeffy. Do you want to lose and you have to pay me a hundred? <sighs> Here's your 50. Jeffy says pee pee. Jeffy says jump up and down. Jeffy says, yeah, keep doing that. Ugh, I'm getting tired, Jeffy. Okay, stop. Oh, thank God. Ha, ah, you lose. You lose, Marvin. You have to pay him a hundred bucks. Well, well, why'd I lose? Because I didn't say Jeffy says stop doing that. And you stopped before I did that. But I thought I was supposed to do everything you said, and I, I did what you said, and... Well, now you gotta give me a hundred bucks. Ugh. Here's your hundred dollars, Jeffy. Leave. He just made $200. He just conned us out of $200. I'm tired. My phone's ringing. 
Hello? Hey, Marvin. What? Goodman, why are you calling me? I was calling because I wanted to see if you had your house payment this month before I drove all the way over to your house just for you to tell me no, because this is becoming a common trend with you. Well, I don't have my house payment this month, but because I gave my son $150. <sighs> Marvin, I need you to come over to my house right now. What? For what? I need you to come over to my house! Don't ask questions, Marvin! I'll send you the address! Uh, okay. Who is that, Marvin? It's Goodman. He wants me to come to his house. Why? Uh, he's probably gonna yell at me. So just, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, I think this is the right house. Yes, hello? Um, Goodman wanted to see me? Ah, oh, very good. He's in the living room, please. Go take a seat. Okay. This is a really nice house. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, have you seen Goodman? Hey, Marvin. What, Goodman? Why are you dressed like a woman? I'm not Mr. Goodman, I'm Mrs. Goodman, as evidenced by the tits. Oh. You wanna squeeze them? Well, no, 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 I, I don't wanna squeeze them. Oh, em. come on, Marvin, I can tell you wanna squeeze them. No, no, I really don't. They're brand new and they're fake. Dr. Burton did the job. That's, that, 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 that's really nice, but I'm just here to talk to Goodman, which... Uh, Marvin, you've been playing cat and mouse with me ever since you got here. At least feel them. Do I have to? I insist. I mean, they are really nice. Marvin, are you in here judging my wife's boobies? Uh, Goodman, I, I thought you were- I leave my wife for three minutes in my own house, and you want to come in here and start touching her cans? Well, she, she, she told me to do it. I didn't, honey. He's a pervert. Marvin, you get the hell out of my house before I call the cops. I thought you wanted to talk to me. That was before you assaulted my wife. Now get out! Uh, 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 okay. <sighs> hey, Marvin, did Goodman yell at you? Oh, yeah, he did. What? Uh, because I, I'm late on my house payment. But you're always late on the house payment. You know, he always gets mad. That's just- Marvin, I cannot believe you! I cannot believe what you did! Why are you so upset he's always late on the house payment? It's not about the house payment. It's about him squeezing my wife's big fake titties! What? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I invited Marvin over to my house because I was going to lower his monthly house payment. And you know what he did? I walked into my living room and there he was, squeezing my wife's big fake boobs. He was squeezing them so hard I think he partially deflated them. It was like he was milking a cow. Marvin, is this true? Well, I thought it was a man. You're sick, Marvin. How could you do this to me? Well, I, I didn't do anything to you. He didn't do anything to you, but he did a whole lot to my wife's big fake left tip. I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh, I didn't <laughs> cheat on you. She asked me to do it. Also, if a man asked me to kiss him and I do it, that's not cheating. Well, what if you thought the, 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 girl, uh, the man was a girl... You're sick, Marvin! Sick! Marvin, my wife would never ask you to do anything like that. She's only loyal to me. Do you know how much plastic surgery I paid for for her to look just like me? Because the only thing that is attracted to me is myself? Well, well, Those tits cost me 20 grand, Marvin! What do you guys want me? What do you want me to do? What do y'all want me to do? You go over to that house and apologize to that poor woman! You want me to... You want me to apologize to her for what? Yes, I think that's a perfect idea. Marvin, you will apologize to my wife for assaulting her. Well, I didn't assault her. <laughs> Marvin, you go over there right now. If you want to save this marriage, you need to apologize to her. Okay, fine. I'll apologize to her, okay? That'll make everyone happy? Okay, I'll let her know that you're on the way. I'm gonna go apologize to her. So stop. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe I have to do this. Hello? Uh, hey. Goodman said that you had something to tell me? Uh, I'm sorry for touching your boobies. It's okay. Come here, give me a hug. No, no, I don't want to Marvin, are you motorboating my wife? Not the best. She, she hugged me. He's a pervert. What? Marvin, you get out of my house, you little horn dog. What the god damn it? <sighs> did you apologize, Marvin? Yes, I did. And what did she say? She gave me a hug. Aw, that's so sweet. Marvin, I cannot believe what you did this time. What happened now? Oh, I'll give you a hint. I picked up Marvin a sailor hat. Now why would I get Marvin a sailor hat? Hmm, let's think about it. Maybe because when he came over to my house to apologize to my wife, I caught him motorboating her titties. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Two giant cans, and he stuck his face between them and shook his head violently and went like a motorboat. Marvin, how could you? That's Captain Marvin. Now wear your sailor hat. <laughs> That is not what happened, okay? I apologized to his wife, she gave me a hug, and my face went between her boobs. Marvin, that doesn't happen on accident! Well, you haven't seen how big they are! And you have! It's true! They're huge! Well, listen, it was an accident! You don't accidentally put your face between boobies and go... I did not make that noise! Yes, you did! Marvin, you need help! I agree! You need professional help, Marvin! What kind of help do I need? We're going to marriage counseling! But I didn't do anything wrong! I'm gonna go check on my wife! And I'm gonna call him! Therapist. I didn't do anything. Oh. 
Hey there, somebody call a massage therapist? No, we called a marriage therapist. Oh, well you can see my confusion. You know, marriage therapist, massage therapist, they sound pretty similar. But hey, I can do both. How about we just get massages because we don't have marriage problems? No, Marvin, you need help. Wait a minute, if you're gonna give us massages, why are you in a robe? Oh, well I saw some videos online where the massage starts and then things start to get steamy and I heard a woman's voice on the phone, so I thought maybe my fantasies were coming true, but I guess that's not happening, so I can help you with your marriage. Well, we don't have marriage problems. Yes, we do! Oh, I have an idea. How about you give me a massage and I help you with your marriage? I'm not giving you a massage! No, Marvin, I think you should. Since you enjoy touching women so much, you should try touching men. Man, that one, over there, go. Uh, okay, fine, I'll give him a massage, that'll make you happy. What, really? It, okay. Uh Right, right there. Yeah, you feel that knot? Yeah, it's all my stress. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, so what's going on? I caught my husband cheating on me! Oh, good. No, no, not good. Like, good. Like, he's doing a good job with the massage. So he's cheating on you? I caught him twice! Oh, yeah. I, not, oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, like the massage. So he cheated on you twice? Evidently, she has big cans! Oh, nice. No, not nice to the cans. Nice to the massage. He's just doing, oh, okay, that's, that's my butt. You're massaging my butt. Hold on, let me roll over. Get my pecs. There you go. A little bit lower. A little lower. Lower. Wait, 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 what is that? <laughs> I pulled a Deshaun Watson on you. Ew! Uh, listen, just answer her marriage questions. Okay, so he's cheating on you with a woman with big cans, right? Yes! Have you ever considered getting a surgery so you have big cans? No! Well, maybe you should consider that. Listen, I did not cheat on her, and I'll tell you what happened. So, my, 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 there's this guy I owe money to, and I went over to his house, and I saw his wife, and she asked me to grab her boobs, so I did, but I thought it was a man. What? Okay, yeah, I can see why that might cause problems for your relationship. But I thought it was a man, and she asked me to do it. So you just do whatever somebody asks you to do? Like, what if somebody asked your wife to grab their wiener and she did it? You wouldn't like that, right? But, but that would be wrong. Mine wasn't wrong because I thought it was a man. Okay, I see what's going on here. You're a manipulator. See, when you do it, it's not wrong, but when she does it, it's wrong. But no, mine wasn't wrong. If you weren't there, you should have been there. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. What? Okay, now I'm dressed like a woman with big cans. Why? To teach you to control yourself so you don't want to grab my motorboat. I don't want to do that. Good, that's a start. What did you make them out of? Oh, I used balloons and then I used Tic Tacs for the nipples. Those are Tic Tacs? Yeah, go ahead and touch them. Ha! Gotcha! Marvin! Oh, he said they were Tic Tacs and I wanted to see if they were. Oh, the wandering mind. What, if a girl tells you she's not wearing underwear, are you going to check? What? No! Listen, baby, you know that's broken guy dressed like a woman and I just wanted to see if they were Tic Tacs. Look, I have an idea. Why don't I just call Goodman's wife, tell her to come over, you guys hide, and you see if she comes on to me or not. Oh, you just want to see your girlfriend! No, 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 I think this is a good idea to see if he's telling the truth. Yeah, and I will be telling the truth. And how about this? If I'm lying, you can divorce me. Okay, Marvin. Okay, that's a deal. So guys, hide. I'm gonna call the wife. Oh, come on, Goodman, answer. What do you want, Marvin? Uh, hey, Goodman, listen, I have a plan to prove to you that I wasn't doing what you thought I did with your wife. I witnessed it with my own two eyes, Marvin. But listen, she came on to me, but I have an idea. How about you come over and you hide, and then we invite your wife over, and then when she comes over, you can hide and see that she tries to come on to me and you'll know I'm not lying. You just wanna squeeze them again. Well, no, 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 listen, if I'm lying, if she doesn't try to come on to me, I I'll, I'll be homeless, I'll live on the street. <sighs> Okay, Marvin. I guess I'll come over, and then I'll call my wife and tell her to come over a few minutes later. Okay, good. Hey, right, this is gonna work. All right, Marvin, where do you want me to hide? Uh, hide over there. Okay, my wife will be here any minute. Come on, Marvin, you got this. Oh, Marvin! Marvin, where are you, big boy? I'm right here. Oh, hey, Marvin. You called me over? Yeah, I just wanted to talk. Did you miss them? What? The jugulars. Did you miss them? No, no, I didn't miss them. You miss how they fell on your face? No. Get over here and smell them. What? Just smell them. Come here. I, I, listen, I just want to talk. Oh, okay. Well, how about before we talk, you bounce on them? What? Bounce on them? Bounce on them like a trampoline. Yeah, there you go. Like Cirque du Soleil. You how? Oh, Goodman, it's not what it looks like. He came on to me. No, I heard the whole thing. And now you're on, out on the streets because you signed a prenup. <laughs> I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Marvin. I, I told you I never did anything wrong. You know what? This month you don't owe a house payment. Oh, oh, th th thank you so much, Goodman. Thank you. Marvin, you were telling the truth. Yeah, he was. Those cans were huge. I would have squeezed them. I, I mean, uh, good job not cheating on your wife or whatever. Marvin, I'm so sorry for getting mad at you. It's okay, baby. Yeah, I guess I didn't have to dress like this after all. But since I am dressed like this, I guess I can earn a little extra money. You know, give some massages with happy endings. I mean, it's not gay if I use my hands. Shut up!
believe we were invited. There's going to be so many celebrities there. Do you think she'll like her cookie cake? Yeah. What's wrong, Boynie? Well, Karen, I just don't feel like going to an A-list celebrity birthday party today. What, Boynie? You've been so excited ever since Beyonce invited you when you got her out of a speeding ticket. I know, but I didn't realize her birthday was on the same day Steve Irwin died. What? Oh, well, yeah, Karen. Today's the day Steve Irwin was tragically taken from us by that goddamn stingray. Oh, I'm so upset. Well, Boynie, the party will distract you. No, it won't, Karen. How am I supposed to just sit there and eat cake and play pin the ring on the single lady when I know Steve Irwin was brutally impaled by a stingray on this day. How can people party on a day like this? It's like partying on 9-11. But Boyne, you party on 9-11. Yeah, okay. Well, they say never forget, not never party. Partying's the best way to remember. Well, let's party to remember Steve Irwin. Karen, are you sick in the head? That's my whole point. We can't party today. Today's a day of mourning. Karen, did you take a bite out of Beyonce's fucking cookie cake? I took a little nibble to make sure it wasn't stale. Okay, that's it. We're definitely not going now. But Boynie, Boynie, you told her you would go when she invited you on Facebook. I said maybe because I wanted to be mysterious. Oh, but Boynie, look, she hearted it. Karen, there's going to be so many other celebrities there, she's not even going to know we're not there. You're going to break her heart, Boynie. Look, I'm just going to message Beyonce on Facebook and tell her I can't make it. Happy birthday, Beyonce. Sorry I can't make it to your party. There. And now she's calling me. Boyney, answer it. Ugh. Hello, Beyonce. Happy birthday, Beyonce. What do you want, Beyonce? Brooklyn guy, please tell me the message you sent me was a joke. You're still coming to my birthday party, right? No, Beyonce, it's not a joke. I just can't make it to your birthday party. I really wanted to, but I can't. But, uh, maybe next year? Actually, probably not. Maybe not any year, unless it's on a different day. So you have a problem with the day I was born? Well, yeah, it's just a bad day. It's not you, it's the day. Actually, the whole month of September's bad. Like, 9-11 happened in September, and Hurricane Katrina, and, like, the Nazis invaded Poland and started World War II in September, I think. And, and Queen Elizabeth II died, you know? Yeah, you know, there's a reason Green Day wanted to sleep through this month. I don't give a stabbing stingray fuck that you don't like the month of September. You better show up to my birthday. Okay, now that is not a common expression. That's it. I'm not coming to your birthday. Bye. Wait, Boynie, we're not gonna go? Did you hear her, Karen? She took a jab at Steve. That really stung. Fuck! Fuck! Now I'm doing it! God damn it! On the day of Steve's death! I'm so sorry, Steve! Alright, I'm just gonna go to work to get my mind off this. Well, Boynie, can I still go? No, Karen, she's not even gonna care. Just stay here and eat the carrot- Fucking carrot cake. Cookie cake! Karen, eat it! You already started, it's not carrot cake. Hey, Danny, guess what? Did you know that this TV show came out on the exact day, month, and year that I was born? That's really cool. Tis. Can we watch it? We can watch it when we're done watching the news. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? No. Oh, I'll just be here if you need me. Well, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at Beyonce's birthday party. Yeah, I was, and I decided not to go. Why'd you decide not to go? There's so many celebrities there, you gotta go. Well, today's just a really sad day. Why is today's Oh, sad? hey, you know, the show actually came out on my birthday. I mean, I mean, not the actual year, but the same day. Yeah, Jeffy was telling us, why is today sad? Marvin, are you kidding me? Don't you know what day it is? Hump day? Fuck. Oh, Marvin, that is so unbelievably not funny. Wednesday! Thank you for the update. Why is today sad? We don't know why. Okay, we're gonna do charades. I'll explain. This is the first word. Oh, 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 you're working at a pizzeria and, you're, and your man, you're tossing the dough and making pizzas because it's very busy. Marvin, I stopped because everything you said was wrong. Oh, there's a fly in your face and you're trying to swat it away. No. Um, oh, you're a DJ and you're at a rave and man, you're pumping up the jam. No. You're pumping. You smell something really bad? Mm-mm. Oh, you walked into a spider web and you're, you're getting it off your face. No. <gasps> oh, you're in a sauna and it's really hot, so you're trying to breathe. <gasps> oh, <gasps> you're running from a zombie and you're looking back at, at it running at, after you and you're scared. No, God damn it, Marvin, I'm swimming, okay? The first word is I'm swimming, okay? Okay, swimming. Okay, here's the second one. You died? How did I die? Uh, you drowned. Oh, someone shot you with a harpoon because they thought you were a shark. That's close. Ooh, ooh you, you swam 30 minutes after eating. How is that close to being shot with a harpoon, Marvin? I, I don't... Ooh. Um, you swallowed too much water, you have a tummy gate. You, uh... Oh, oh, you had a heart attack from swimming too much. I'm fucking Steve Irwin, Marvin, that's what I'm doing. I'm fucking Steve Irwin. Okay, that does not look like you're banging Steve Irwin. No, I don't mean I'm literally... <clears throat> Marvin, it's charades. I am Steve Irwin. Okay, let's play a different one because I, I didn't really get No, no, that. no, we're not playing charades. I'm telling you why I'm sad today. Today is the day Steve Irwin died. Well, not actually today. It was like 18 years ago, but it's the same day. That was today? Yes, it's today. Oh, well, that's sad. Yes, it's very sad, Marvin. That's what I'm saying. Today is a tragic day. Yeah, I mean, it was a long time ago, so I mean, it's kind of like 
move on a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. It was a long time ago. Yeah, you're right, Marvin. I guess Pearl Harbor wasn't a big deal because it was a long time ago. Oh, and the Holocaust? <laughs> What's that? That was a long time ago. I don't care about that. And slavery? That's just the cat's pajamas, Marvin. That's what you think, right? Because it was a long time ago? No, I'm just saying it was so long ago and I didn't know him, so I mean... Oh, you didn't know him, so you lack empathy, huh? You're a psychopath? That's what you're telling me, Marvin? No, it was sad when it happened. It's still sad, but, but people just don't really think about it that often. I, I didn't know today was that day. It's not, I don't have it on my calendar. He died today. Now how quickly we forget. Marvin, look the news! Breaking news, MK! Beyonce's birthday party was ruined because one of the guests she invited didn't show up, and that made her cry. We have an important message from the president now. Breaking news, America. Some broke-ass, ginger-headed, fuck-ass bitch ruined Beyonce's birthday party and made her cry. America's most hated person now ruined one of the happiest days in September. If you see his face, punch him and call him names. Thank you. Oh, man, she told the president. Oh, you made Beyonce cry. Well, I didn't mean to make her cry. I just didn't want to celebrate on such a sad day. Ow! Fuck! Marvin! Oh, Jeffy, don't hit him. It's okay. He was just doing what the president told him. Oh, well, I mean... You, you made Beyonce cry, and now people are going to want to punch you. Well, look, if anybody tries to punch me, I will just explain why I didn't go to the party. Did you explain to her why you didn't go? Well, I didn't really get a chance. She made a very hurtful joke about Steve Irwin. At oh. least, I think it was a joke. It was Stingray-related. It was either a joke, or she just has very weird sayings. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go get a beer out of your fridge. Ow! Jeffy? Oh, I mean, the president told him, like... I guess you can do it. <sighs> the last beer. This is for you, Steve! Well, while I'm here, I might as well see if they have any snacks in the pantry. Uh-uh! What do you think you're doing going in my pantry? Oh, hey, Chef PP. I'm just looking for some snacks. Oh, no. You don't deserve no snacks. You made Beyonce cry. You don't make the Queen Bee cry. Oh, come on. I just didn't want to go to a party. Nah, this is for the beef hive. Ah! 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 I don't want to hide, bitch! Ah! 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 Yeah, buzz, buzz, motherfucker, buzz, buzz! <laughs> what happened to you? I just got my ass kicked for making Beyonce cry. Well, well, you know that was gonna happen. I mean, the president announced to the world that people need to punch you in the face. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ow! God damn I'm, it, Marvin. I'm just doing what the president told me to do. I know. Ugh, okay, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to go to the party. You're actually gonna go? Yeah, I'm gonna go get my wife. He's gonna get beat up by everyone. <gasps> oh my god, Boyney, what happened to you? I got beat up for making Beyonce cry. Oh! Sorry, Boyne, President's orders. I know, it's okay. Listen, I think I decided to go to Beyonce's birthday party. What? We're gonna go? Yeah, but I need you to put some makeup on my face so I don't look so beat up. Okay, Boyne, can I also bring the cookie cake? Well, you ate goddamn half of it. I was hungry, Boyne, because you said we weren't going. Fuck it, okay, bring it. Ugh, kill me. Boyne, are you sure this is Beyonce's birthday party? There are balloons, Karen. It's definitely her house. Hey, are you here for Beyonce's birthday party? Uh, yeah. Okay, let me check the guest list. Let's see, Drake, Steve Harvey. Oh, that's me right there, Brooklyn guy, plus one. Hey, you're the guy who made her cry. Yeah, that would be me. You got a lot of nerve showing up here, bud. No one here likes you, everyone hates you. I know. Well, we brought a cookie cake. A half-eaten cookie cake. You know what, let me go ask her if she even wants you here. Stay put. Karen, I want to leave. No, Boyne, you're gonna make it right. But he said everyone in there hates me. All right, so Beyonce's in her room crying, so I didn't have a chance to ask her. So why don't you come inside, grab a snack, and sit by the pool and wait. And when she's done crying, she'll come out and talk to you. Okay. You're the reason she's crying. I know. Boyne, where should I put the cookie cake? Probably next to her real cake, Karen. You know, I really thought Beyonce would have had a bigger cake. <gasps> Oh my god, Boyne, there's Drake standing over there! Ooh, Drake, who gives a shit? Oh, I think he's coming over! Brooklyn guy, you're a dummy head, poopy pants, stinky butthead. I hate you for making Beyonce cry on her birthday. Um, I hope you step on a crack and break your mama's back. Excuse me, I'm going to talk to a minor. Why would he admit that? Oh my god, Boyne, Drake just talked to you! Do you think he'll take a picture with me? Are you under 18? No. Well, then probably not. I'm going to grab a red solo cup and stand by the pool. Boyne, do you think would mind if I had some more of the cookie cake? Karen, I don't think anybody wants any of your shitty cookie cake. Ugh, lame-ass party. Oh, hey, Beyonce. I made it to your birthday. What do you want, Brooklyn guy? You already ruined my birthday and made me cry all day. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Listen, I just really want to explain why I didn't want to come earlier. You see, your birthday's also the same day Steve Irwin died, and I just can't celebrate on a day this sad. Wait. 
don't know about Steve Irwin dying on the same day as my birthday, I carry this framed picture of Steve everywhere I go because I love him so much. I don't celebrate my birthday on this day. I celebrate the life of Steve Irwin. Oh my god, Beyonce! You do understand! Let's fucking party! Steve, 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 Steve! want to do today? Oh, dude, let's play video games. Oh, yeah, video games are sick. But what could we play that's four players? Uh, we could play Rocket League. Ugh, I don't want to play Rocket League. Every time we play that, we all just end up getting mad. We're not going to get mad because we're going to win. Yeah. yeah, and I'm going to be the goalie. Yeah, okay, Jeffy's goalie. Let's just go play. Come on, guys. Let's okay. do it. Uh, there's only 10 seconds left. No, Jeffy. Jeffy, you better block that. Jeffy, you better block that. Oh, I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, Jeffy, block it! Oh, block it! Oh, oh. Jeffy! No! Oh, no! no. Nice. Oh, Jeffy! 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 I cannot believe we lost that Rocket League match. Yeah, all Jeffy had to do was, was block, block the, the dang, dang ball. ball. Oh, I'm so mad. I let small things inconvenience my whole day. I know winning that video game wouldn't make me any happier, and I'm not even going to think about this when I'm 80 years old, but in that moment it meant so much to me, and right now I'm just so mad. Exactly, exactly. We're never going to win a Rocket League tournament with Jeffy sucking, sucking up. Yeah, sucking ass. Yeah, thank you, Joseph, sucking ass. Yes, thank you very much, Joseph. I was trying to find the words to figure out what would be the equivalent of sucking at a video game and sucking ass is exactly it. Why choice of words, Joseph? Mm -hmm, thank you so much. I've been increasing my vocabulary. But yeah, Jeffy sucking ass at Rocket League really makes me angry. Yes, yes, yeah, it makes me very angry. Man, I don't know what he means he's going to the studio. What, what kind of studio is Jeffy going to? A not sucking at Rocket League studio? Yeah, like a soccer studio? Yeah, Universal Studios? I wish I could go to Universal Studios because then I wouldn't be so mad. But what, what, what I can't, because I'm in Pensacola and that's like a seven hour drive away from Orlando and I can't even go anyway because we're just kids and we need a parent and we also don't have money, so that's also a problem. Yeah, but we would have money if we won a Rocket League championship, but we'll never win that because Jeffy sucks ass at Yeah, our goal is ass. Yes, completely. Yes, I'm very mad, but talking about this has helped a lot. Let's just watch TV, guys. Ugh, where's oh. the remote? Oh, now I can't find the God, remote. God, I'm so mad again! Jesus. I'm even oh, more I'm angry. I'm gonna go look for it, but I am mad. I am so angry that we can't even find the remote. I think I found it. Who hit Why it? was it all the way over here? This is bullshit. I'm so Jesus. mad. So turn it on. on. Turn, turn the TV on. <laughs> Breaking news, MK. A random diss track was sent into our news station, and I listened to it, and I thought it was pretty fire. I'm gonna play it for whoever it was targeted to so they can hear it. Some people say that I'm handicapped. I'm not handicapped. I'm retarded. Danny says I'll play too much. Cap piano used a bunch. Keys are sticky to the touch because I'll play after eating lunch. I rap everywhere I go, spit in front of all my hoes. All my dicks is doing blow, but not before I pick my nose. You guys think you made it far? Jeffy is your rising star. No for note and bar for bar. You can't keep up, you're not on par. I shit your heart on every song. Don't believe it, I'll prove you wrong. I bang your mom just like a gong. Pee pee poo poo, Johnny Slong. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I spank my dopper very hard. I spank, yeah, I spank my dopper very hard. Okay, yeah, I spank my dopper very hard. I spank, yeah, I spank, I spank my dopper very hard. I'm re re Target as fuck. Stole a chromie from my homie, now he quacks like a duck. And if you think you're just as re re then you're shit out of luck. And I go crazy on the beat till my pee pee gets stuck. I spank my dopper super hard. You cannot out retard. Pee pee short like Lord Farquaad. It's just me, there is no squad. You that you are the best I got hoes that have three breasts Like the feeling on their chest Smells like fish red lobster fest Got hoes coming to my nest Flocking in from east to west Rapping's easy as ain't a test Millions of fans are feeling blessed Junior Joseph Cody Fest Watch as I secure the bag Not that I'm trying to brag But every bit has Jeffy tag mm, Yeah okay I want my booty back to front Smelling balls yeah mm, I want my booty back to front Dirty tank bitch mm, I want my booty back to front Shitty smelling balls I wipe my booty back in front. Really? Yeah, I spank my dopper very hard. I spank that bitch. I wipe my booty back in front. Smelling balls. Yeah, yeah. I spank my dopper very hard. I spank that bitch. Oh, oh, what is this? Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse, a diss track has been dropped upon me. Did he try to flame our ass? Did he call us? 
Depends on the news. I'm straight as hell. I'm not, but that is a very hurtful word, and I can't believe they let him say that on TV. How'd he get the diss track on the news? It must be a very slow news day. But it's on the news, dude. It's ten times worse. We gotta diss him back. Yeah, yeah, we have to drop a diss track at him now because of him dissing us in front of everyone. Yeah, yes. yeah, we must. Yeah, so we just need a studio to record that in. Oh, I know the perfect studio. My cousin Tukey got a studio. We should go and record. Yeah, yeah, we'll go, we'll go to Tukey's house and record it. But like, he said he wipes back to front. Like, hey, that's not even bad. I do that. Well, what? Wait, really? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I thought only girls can't do that. Well, I, I don't think anybody should do that. Yeah, that's pretty close. He said he has a stinky tank. Yes, and he's dissing us. My taint is very clean. How dare he? Yeah, I think we should record the hardest, meanest, rawest, trappest, craziest diss track anyone's ever heard. Yes. Oh, we're gonna flame his ass, dude. Let's do it. Well, let's go record it. Ooh. Ooh, that shit was fire. Yeah, our diss track is hard. Yeah, it's very hard. It's so hard, it's like... It's like cake that's been left out because it's hard, because it's stale. N not that our diss is stale, our, our diss is fresh, it's very fresh, it's the freshest. It's like fresh cake that is also hard. Like, like ice cream cake that's still frozen. Yes, that's what our diss track is. Our diss track is ice cream cake that is still frozen. Mmm, great description, Cody. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, everyone's gonna want to hear our ice cream cake verse diss track. Yes, yeah. everybody's gonna want a slice. Oh, yeah, okay, so how do we get our diss track to the news? Well, I'm assuming the news has some kind of submit your own diss track email, so I'll send it to that. I get the MP3 on my phone. Well, what about the music video? Oh, yeah, I also have the MP4 of that. You know what, I think I'll just send the MP4 because it is both audio and visual. Oh, yeah, definitely send that to them. I'll send that. Okay, it's sent. Your Wi-Fi is very good, Junior. I have the giga, the giga, the giga internet. That's very nice. The, the giga speed. Yeah, fiber optic. Yeah. That, that's what I was trying to say. That's good shit. Thank you, thank you. I'm just so angry I just couldn't get my words together. I understand. Look at the news! Ugh. Breaking news, okay? We just received a response to the diss track we aired earlier. This one I haven't heard yet, but let's listen to it to see if it's as fire as the first one. Perfect. Junior gonna kill this track. Told your mom to throw it back. She gave me head. It was so whack. Ate her booty like a snack. Your helmet makes you look insane. Pencil probably pokes your brain. I do this shit. I make it rain. Stay the fuck right in your lane. Yeah. You stuck at Rocket League, bitch. Your mom gets railed while your dad's a cuck. You thought it's your time, well, you're out of luck. Good at Rocket League, you're dumb as fuck. You think that you're good when you really just suck. Speaking of suck, that's what I do. But even I don't suck harder than you. Your dick is a minion, so I'll just call you Gru. I'm tired of you now, so shoe fly shoe. Julia and Cody just flamed you. You better run, cause now you in danger. At your crib all the time, I'm no stranger. In your mom's guts, about to rearrange ya. BPD the way I switch, I make you my little bitch. Cry to dad, you stupid snitch. I own you like I'm rich, you rich. Tired, Jeffy, no fatigue. Going psycho like I'm Creed. Go ahead, I'm so intrigued. That's why you ass at Rocket League. I'm playing you just like the Wii. You're latching on just like some fleas. What would make your dad happy? Throw you out and lock the count. I'm done being polite. Now I got you in my sight. About to see you to the light. Make your ass go nighty night. Ooh, that diss track was too fire, bro. Yeah, our diss track was tough. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough like a steak that's been overcooked, you know? It's, it's so chewy because it's all tough and hard to swallow. For Jeffy, for Jeffy it was hard to swallow. For us it was easy to swallow because our steak was well cooked. But his, his was overcooked and so that's why it was so hard to swallow because it was so tough. Yeah, yeah, our stuff is really tough. Yeah. It's toughed like a, like a hair on a cow's chin. I'm sorry, Junior? You like a tuft of hair? Oh, tuft. Yeah, that, that's a different word, but yeah, I think I see what you're saying. And, you know, I mean, I, I would have gone with goat, but that's okay. I, I bet a cow's chin is pretty tough, too. And cows are also where steak comes from, so it, it comes full circle. I think we're on the same page, yeah. Do you think Jeffy heard the diss track? I really hope so, because I don't think the news is going to play that again. And this is the only TV in the house, so if he wasn't watching it on his phone, which I don't know why he would do that, then he probably didn't see it. So you don't think he heard our diss track? Probably not. I think we should go ask Jeffy if he heard it. Yes, let's do that. Yeah, I, we need to know. Yeah, dude. Oh, Wally fuck. Hey, Jeffy. What do you guys want? We saw your dumb, stupid diss track on the news. Yeah, did you cry and piss your pants? Yeah. Good. Hey, Cody, do a Wally impression. I feel like your voice has a really good, like, accent for Wally. Oh, yeah, I do a really good one. Wally. Okay, well, I guess it wasn't as good as I thought. I mean, even if the Wally thing wasn't right here, I would still know what character you were trying to impersonate. Well, yeah, it's not that hard. He just says his own name with a robot voice. Oh. Well, anyway, Jeffy, we saw your stupid diss track, and we made a diss track at you.
And it was fire. Yeah, it was fire. It was fire like a grill on high heat where you can see the flames. Yeah, yeah, that's how fire our diss track was. And you know what? I bet you could cook a steak on that grill. A steak that's really overcooked and tough. Like our diss track was tough. And then and then if you eat that for dessert, then you could have like a really hard, frozen, very fresh ice cream cake. Because that's how hard our diss track was. And also fresh. And also cake. Because it was so easy. And, and then after you get done eating that entire meal, then you could wash it down with a nice, refreshing glass of lemon but 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 not refreshing it'd be like hot and it would burn your throat because it's because you wouldn't like it but we would like it It would be lemonade to us but not for you he's saying our diss track is ice cold did you see it it was on the news no i don't watch the news fuck well cody pull it up on your phone make him watch it yeah i got the mp4 right here yeah, yeah watch our diss track it's very it's very everything he said yeah we're not going to show the whole thing over again but you know use, use your imagination yeah what do you think about that jeffy i bet that hurt your feelings Damn, he's crying now, guys. I feel kind of bad. Uh, I don't feel bad. He made us lose the damn game. Yeah, he did call his names in his song. Yeah, yeah, wait a minute. I'm mad again. He called me a slur. Wait, you said I was handicapped. Well, all you had to do was block the stupid ball. If we had a better goalie, we wouldn't have lost. Guys, guys, how about this? How about I'm goalie next time? I like taking balls in the face. I mean... Yeah, if Cody was the goalie, then we could yell at him if he messed up yeah. instead of Jeffy. Yeah, we could just quash this whole beef right now. Yeah, there's no more beef. We just, no more diss tracks. We just end this right here. Uh, nah, I'm taking this shit to the grave, dude. Uh, I would never be happy again. All right, guys, listen. No more sending diss tracks to the news. We all just say we're sorry, okay? Jeffy, you say you're sorry first. I'm sorry. All right. I think that's it. I think, I think yeah, we're Yeah, I think that covers it. Yeah. Hold on! You guys didn't say sorry for calling me handicapped! Oh, uh... Sorry. <laughs> yeah. We say we said it. Yeah. It I'm not sorry. <laughs> okay, listen. Let's just go back and play some more Rocket League, okay? And Cody will be goalie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't think Joe's is playing, so it'll be 3v3. Yeah. Come on, Jeffy. Cody, how was school? Yeah, did you learn about how long the Great Wall of China is? It's 13,000 miles, Dad. Dang, I didn't believe that. Oh, Cody, you got a little bit of a boo-boo. Yeah, it's a pretty bad boo-boo. Oh, Cody, you're missing your whole ear. Were you running with scissors? No, a kid bit it off. What? What did the kid look like? I know you poked his eyes out of something. No, it was a kindergartner. Cody, what are you doing fighting kindergartners? Why don't you fight somebody your own age? Well, I am in kindergarten. Wait, wait, you in kindergarten? No way! Uh-uh. Well, Cody, what happened? Are you too stupid and they put you back there? No, the principal found out I only had like four birthdays and it was a whole thing. Well, okay, I want a parent-teacher conference because you should not be getting your ear bit off at school. Come on. Mm-hmm. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Nutkiss. I understand you wanted to meet me for a parent-teacher conference? Yeah, we want to know why the fuck Cody's ear is not on his noggin. Ah, uh, yes, that was an unfortunate incident with another student who bit Cody's ear off. Oh, uh, excuse me, miss. Why does this crayon say Negro on it? Oh, uh, that's the Spanish word for the color black. Oh, uh, I don't see now. One Spanish kid in this damn class. You just wanted to say nigga, didn't you? No, I didn't. Excuse me. Are those animal crackers for guests? Uh, no. Those are for the students. Shit, I'm about to eat some since you want to say nigga all, all the time. Shit. What? Yeah, Miss Cracker. To be fair, you are a cracker. I'm so sorry. What did you want to discuss with me? Uh, Cody does not belong in kindergarten. He's very smart. Mm -hmm. He should be in big boy school where they do drugs in the bathrooms. Oh, so you want him to do drugs? Yes, it builds character. I want to get a call saying Cody got shot. Yeah, but see on his chest. Okay, well, uh, we can give Cody a final exam today, and if he passes, he can go up to whatever grade he wishes. That sounds good. Does that sound good, Cody? Don't speak, only nod. Cody says that sounds good. Well, we are certainly going to miss having Cody in our class. He is irreplaceable. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? You want to go, bitch? Yeah, beat her ass. Beat her racist ass, baby. I'm, I'm not, not the so bitch, sorry. bitch. Don't try me. No. Yeah. She's not the one or the two, bitch. Oh. I'm going to take this ear and sew it back on Cody's head. Yeah, do it, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Crackers too. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Man, Joseph, I hate school, but Friday is the best day. Yeah, dude, it's the closest day to the weekend. I don't even do my work on Friday. I just push it off till Monday. Yeah, you just sleep in class all day. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Cody, you still doing that kindergarten thing? Yeah, I gotta study for my final exam. Five cats, six flowers, seven balloons, eight crayons, nine cupcakes, ten tractors, got it. What exam do you have to study for in kindergarten? Well, this is the final exam, and if I pass this, I get to go back to normal school with you guys. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. The school year's not even over with. Yeah, but a kid bit my ear off, and there was a parent-teacher conference. It was a whole thing. So if you pass this test, you come back to normal school? Yeah, and this is really important for me, so I really have to study. How many cats? Okay, five, got it. 
Okay, well, I mean, me and Joseph didn't even get to go to kindergarten. Yeah. Well, yes, you did. You've been to kindergarten before. No, we wanted to sneak into your kindergarten class and hang out with you. Guys, do not sneak into my kindergarten class. But it would be so fun to, like, screw around and, like, have a free day. It is Friday. No, no, this is very important for me, and if I screw this up, I get stuck in kindergarten, so you guys are not coming. Okay, fine, we won't come. Okay, I'm going to school. Five cats, five cats, five cats. All right, Joseph, we're going to sneak into his kindergarten class. Oh, yeah, dude, let's do it. All right, let's go. <laughs> What's that? Did I hear you say you're looking for a free-to-play mobile game where you can create your very own dragon empire? Well, then let me tell you about today's sponsor, Dragon City. Dragon City lets you hatch, collect, and evolve over a thousand dragons, even ones inspired by YouTubers. They even added a piece of the SML universe to the game. Build your dream city with magical habitats and awesome decorations. Test your dragons in epic battles. Climb the leaderboard and show off your dragon. Dragon Mastery. Dive into quests, unlock powerful skills, and join forces with over 450 million players in a community where legends are made. Click the link below or scan the QR code to download Dragon City now. Get the SML decoration instantly, plus 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the epic Ovi Dragon to kickstart your adventure. But hurry, it's a limited time offer. <laughs> It's my last day here. Yummy! I got purple Beto spaghetti. I want some. You can't actually eat it in Beto. Watch me. No, it's my spaghetti. God, I can't wait to get out of this class. All right, class, settle down. Settle down, class. All right, today is April twelfth, which means today is purple, purple day. Yes, it is. Today is finally Purple Day! Fuck yeah! Language! All right, class, we're going to go around the class, and everyone's going to tell me one thing that's purple. Alex, why don't you start? Oh, ah, grapes are purple! Wrong. Sometimes grapes are green. Try again, Alex. Ah, Barney's purple! Wrong again. Barney's stomach is green. He's not completely purple. Try again. Name something completely purple. Ah, uh, eggplants! They're purple! Wrong again, Alex, because the stem of an eggplant is green, so it's not completely purple. You fail for today. This is bullshit! Anyone else want to try to name something completely purple? My mom's body was completely purple when I found her dead! That doesn't count, Mikey! I'm sure she was another color, too. No, she was only purple. How about someone else goes? Daryl, would you like to try? Bears aren't purple, Daryl, but thank you for trying. Who else wants to try? How about you, Freddy? Name something purple. Uh, purple paint is purple. Yes, someone got it right. Thank you, Freddy. Purple paint is completely purple. Cody, why don't you try next? Uh, purple Play-Doh? That doesn't count, Cody, because the container of Play-Doh is yellow, so you fail. What? That's bullshit! I was talking about the Play-Doh itself outside of the container! Too late. You have to be more specific, Cody. Ugh, can you just give me my final exam so I can get out of this place? Oh, yes, Cody, that! Class, class, free time, play nicely while I give Cody his final exam. All right, Cody, here's your final exam. Wait, this is it? Yes, and don't forget the most most important question of all, you have to fill out your name. Otherwise, how will I know whose test I'm grading? I'm the only one taking the test. Just fill out your name, Cody. Do you need help spelling out your name, Cody? No, I got it, but I do have a question. Why does it say my goal and my score? Because you can fill out your goal as what you want to make on this test. Well, why would I put anything other than a hundred? I want to get them all right. Just fill it out, Cody. But whose goal would be like a 50 or a two? And if you need any any words of encouragement? Look at Mr. Apple. You can do it. Well, thank you, Mr. Apple. I actually do have one more question, though. Some of the questions are repeated multiple times, like 0 plus 2 and 0 plus 2 and 0 plus 2 and 0 plus 2. Cody, 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 I can't help you with any questions on this exam. You have to do that yourself. And if it's too confusing for you, maybe you're not ready to leave kindergarten. Well, it's not confusing. I just thought maybe you made a typo or something. All right, Cody, no cheating. I'll try not to. There's no way you're going to pass that test, Blow. Those questions are hard. Oh, yeah? When I pass this test, I'm never going to have to see any of you fuckers ever again. Oh, Freddy. I, I might still hang out with you, Freddy. You're cool. Okay. Hey, Blo, you want me to sharpen your pencil for you? No, it's pretty sharp. I can make it sharper. Why would I ever trust you ever again? You bit my ear off, you goon. Hey, Cody, this is what the poop looks like coming out of my butt. Hell yeah, Freddy. What? Well, fuck off, Mikey. Give me my test back. Why don't you come get it? <laughs> you bitch. <laughs>
<laughs> God damn it, Mikey, get back here. All right, Joseph, this is the kindergarten classroom. What, guys, what the hell are you doing here? We said we were going to sneak into your kindergarten class. I said don't do that. Well, we're already here. Okay, well, if you're already here, help me catch Mikey. Who's Mikey? He's the blonde kid in the orange shirt. I have an orange shirt. Well, you're not blonde, are you? No. Come on, let's catch Mikey. Okay. Hey, Daryl, I'm going to hide in your desk, but don't tell anyone. Hey, you guys seen Mikey? No. Yeah. Wait, which is it? I ain't stitching. Wait, Cody, why is that kid pressing bear over and over and over again? I don't know. He doesn't talk. That's just what he does. Oh, Cody, there's Mikey. He's wearing orange. But he's not blonde. Well, that kid over there is blonde. Yes, but she's not wearing an orange shirt. Kindergarten's way too hard. <laughs> God damn it, Mikey. Get back here. <laughs> oh, Cody, are you finished with your task? No, I have to make some corrections. <gasps> Cody, you spelled your name wrong. Your name's not code. I asked you if you knew how to spell your name. I didn't write that. Your name is spelled C-O-D-Y. D -Y. Yeah, I know. Oh. Cody, you got everything wrong on your test. 2 plus 2 isn't 17, and 3 plus 2 isn't 1. I know, that's because I didn't write that. Mikey did it. <gasps> you cheated off of Mikey? What? No, Mikey didn't even have a fucking test. I was the only person taking it. Oh, and the only thing you got right was my goal, which is zero. And why the fuck would I even write that? You made Mr. Apple sad because you couldn't do it. Well, ask Mr. Apple who really took the test. He knows. Actually, you know what? Ask my friends. Mikey stole it, right, guys? <gasps> Cody, you snuck in your friends from an older grade to help you cheat on your test? But no! Well, to be fair, I didn't know that 2 plus 0 was 2. I thought it was 0. Junior, that's 2 times 0. Oh, do we jog our animal crackers? I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> Maybe your friends should be in kindergarten with you. Look, just let me take the test again. I can do it! No, I'm sorry, Cody, but there's no way you can pass kindergarten. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go beat Mikey's ass. Come on, guys! Wait, no, no, no! Actually, I have to check my phone. Do what you gotta do! I love my blocks! Hey, Freddy. <laughs> what happened? Did you fail your test? Yeah, sure did. But guess what? I want to introduce you to some friends of mine. You don't have friends! Yeah, I do. We're the Skeeter Boys, and we're gonna fuck- Yeah, let's get the Skeeter Boys! Yeah, get it back! Yeah, fight back! Hold the fight back! Can I be a Skeeter Boy? Yeah, sure. Come on, Freddy. Yeah, Skeeter Boy makes a nigga! Shut up! Shut up! I see nothing! What do you think he's doing? Maybe he's just going through the punishment book to find a punishment. <laughs> I found it. What'd you find? The word nigger. <laughs> that Mark Twain is a literary genius. <laughs> but you guys, what the hell is wrong with you? Biting in a kindergarten class? And sneaking in here trying to cheat on a test? You thought I wouldn't find out? <laughs> well, we didn't cheat on the test. All we did was beat up a kindergarten. <laughs> You should have just said that. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? Oh, I could send all of y'all to Judy. <laughs> you know that? I could send you to Judy. <laughs> Judy. <laughs> I, I think he just likes saying Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Judy is kid prison. <laughs> you want to go to kid prison, badasses? No. Oh, I could send you to kid prison, but you know what? I got a better plan. How about I send you to kindergarten? <laughs> Sir, yeah. sir, I I'm already in kindergarten. Well, your friends can join in kindergarten, okay? Well, and I got the perfect test for you. If you fail my exam, you get to stay in kindergarten forever! Well, I, 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 I have a question about it. What? Since we're going to kindergarten, yeah. it, is the video going to be called Cody Goes to Kindergarten? Or is it going to be... We all go to kindergarten. I haven't uh, thought about that one. Maybe Junior goes to kindergarten? But what about Joseph? Joseph's going. Uh, what about uh, Cody plus two? Yeah, maybe Junior and friends go to kindergarten? That's too long. How about Ju Junior's misadventures? How about Junior, Joseph, Cody go to kindergarten? Yeah, no, that, that's, that's too long. That's pretty long. Thanks again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to grab your limited time offer by clicking the link in the description. Act now and get 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the epic OV Dragon, and the SML decoration instantly. Go check out Dragon City now. Are you ready to play with my new Robo Rage toy? Oh, cool. Bish versus Bosh. Oh, dude, I want to be Chris Bosh. And I want to be Bish, because I'm 100% that Bish. I want to play with the new robot toy. So let's open it and play with it. I go first. No, dude, I want to go first. No, I want to go first. Guys, it's my toy, so I get to go first. No, I, 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 I want to go first. 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 I want to go first
Okay, guys, listen. We need to buy two more of these robots so we all can play. All right, let's buy two more. But this is a $100 toy, Jeffy. We don't have $100. Well, maybe we could raise money. Like, we could do a car wash or something. Like, I could take my shirt off and wash cars. Well, honestly, I just want an excuse to take my shirt off. Yeah, guys, we could wash cars and raise the money, and then we could all play with the robots. So, look, let's go wash some cars, guys. All okay. right. Okay. Uh, time to get Marvin's house painted. Hey, Nanny, can I go outside and wash cars with my friends? No. Why? 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 I don't get it. Why? Man, come on. Let Jeffy go outside and do a job. But, baby, he's going to be touching other people's cars, and he might damage them, and then it'll be my problem. But, Marvin, you're not going to give him money, so let him go work for it. Yeah, Nanny, I'm a working man. Okay, fine, Jeffy. You can go wash cars, but if you damage anyone's car, it's your responsibility. I don't know what responsibility means, but I got it, Daddy. Oh, this is a bad idea. Who's at the door? Hello? Hey, Marvin, I'm here for your house payment. Oh, Goodman, uh, well, you see, I don't have my house payment this month. You know what this is, Marvin? A banana? Mm-hmm. Why, why, why are you peeling a banana? Because this banana represents your wiener. And if you don't have your house payment by the end of the day today, this is what I'm gonna do to your wiener. What? I'm gonna cut it off, Marvin. I'm gonna cut off your wiener. Oh, okay, okay, look, I will get the house payment by the end of the day. Well, now I'm gonna come inside and use your bathroom and clog your toilet. What the, the, oh. Oh, guys, look, a Lamborghini. Let's wash this car. But, Junior, this guy didn't ask us to clean his car. I know, Cody, but if we wash it and do a really good job, the guy will come out and go, damn, you cleaned my car really good. Here's a thousand bucks. Junior, I don't think forcing people to pay us for stuff they didn't ask for is a really great business model. Cody, just shut up and wash the car and look sexy. Okay, that I can do. Junior, I don't have a sponge. Um, well, go find one. All okay. right. I think they grow in the grass or something. Now, where can I find a sponge at? Oh, that looks like a sponge. Don't forget to wash the grill, Cody. Okay. I'm gonna check on Jeffy and see how he's doing. What? Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm doing great, Junior. I'm washing it so good that the paint's coming off. What? Squeaky clean. That's a brick! House. You know, like the song? She's a brick house. What? Jeffy, you can't wash it with a brick stomach! Cody, come here! What's wrong, Junior? Look! Whoa, whoa, that, 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 that is a problem. How'd that even happen? This is the only sponge that I could find. You used a brick? House. And we damaged the car, Cody! Junior, the guy's not gonna pay us $1,000 for this. So what do we do? Okay, I have an idea. I say we get out of here. Cody, come back! Do I keep washing it or not? No, Jeffy, we have to go. Come on! Oh, Marvin, I clogged your toilet bad. Here, smell my fingers. Oh, God, oh, why does it smell like that? Because when I was wiping, my finger broke through the toilet paper and went in my ass crack. So that's what you just smelled. Oh, why didn't you wash your hands? Because you don't have any soap. So maybe tonight after you give me your house payment, you invest in some soap. Oh, okay, just, I, I know, just come back later. All right, I'll be back tonight. And if you don't have your house payment, you know what will happen to your banana. What about bananas? Uh, listen, baby, you don't want to know. What the hell? Why is there soap on my car? Did someone try washing my car and they didn't even finish? What the fuck? Did someone try washing my car with a brick? Marvin! Daddy, washing cars is hard. Why? What happened? Because there's so many different types of sponges, I don't know which one to use. I get confused. What are you talking about? Oh, hold on. Hello? You pull your pants down! It's coming off! Well, you said I had to the end of the day! Not anymore! Not after what you did to my car! What did I do to your car? Come here! This! Well, I didn't do that! I know you didn't do it, but your son did! How do you know he did it? Because he left me a bill. Car wash bill, $1,000 owed to Jeffy. Well, I, I, it wasn't me who did it. it was I don't give a fuck. You got to get me your house payment and the money to fix my car by the end of the day, or y you know what happened to the banana. Oh, oh, oh okay, I'll try. Jeffy! Jeffy! You damaged Goodman's car by washing it? Mm -hmm. Well, why would you do that, Jeffy? Ah! What? No, Jimmy, why did you do that? Dang, I told you, sponges are hard. No, they're not hard, Jeffy. They're supposed to be soft and squishy, and they, and they wash things. Why was I supposed to know that? Jeffy, you owe me $5,000 by tonight, or get out of the house. Marvin, that's not a realistic amount of money Jeffy can get to you by tonight. Oh, Mommy, I understand. I screwed up big time. Yes, you did, Mr. Dunn. You go get me that money now. All right, Daddy, I'll get you that money, even if I have to swing leg. Go! Well, washing cars was a bad idea. I can't believe Jeffy used a brick. Wait, Jeffy used a brick? Wait, Joseph, why weren't you outside washing cars with us? Because I don't do manual labor, dude. My people suffered enough. I'm enjoying my freedom.
So Cody, how are we gonna get $100 to buy more robots? Junior, I don't think we should try to raise any more money. We've done enough damage. Hey guys, my daddy said I need to raise $5,000 by tonight or he's gonna kick me out of the house. But that's not even possible. Well, Cody, did you not hear what Jeffy just said? If he doesn't get $5,000 by tonight, he's gonna be homeless. Well, Junior, that's not possible. And also he damaged that car. I mean, it's not our problem. We were trying to wash it. But Cody, friends stick together. We gotta help our friends. Yeah! So we have to help Jeffy get the $5,000. Well, how are we gonna do that, Junior? Um, hold on, let me think. I'm gonna be like Jimmy Neutron. Think, think, think. Ugh, who's at the door ruining my brain blast? Come on, Cody, let's answer the door. Hello? Hi, Junior, do you wanna buy some Girl Scout cookies? We have s'mores. A mint cookie? No, Penelope, we don't wanna buy stupid, dumb Girl Scout cookies. We need money ourselves. We're not gonna waste it on cookies. Damn, Junior, you could've just said no. Well, actually, I, I will take some of those mint cookies. Aw, oh, thanks, Cody. Eat your mint cookies, stink breath. Bye. Okay, that was rude. Cody, why would you buy cookies? Well, I'm sorry, but now my feelings are hurt. Cody, if you have money for cookies, why don't you give it for Jeff? He needs $5,000. It was only $10, Junior. Cody, oh my god, we need money. Wait a minute. Buying those cookies just gave me an idea. Oh yeah, we should probably- We should beat up those girls for the money. What? No, I thought you were gonna say we should sell cookies. What? No, selling cookies is hard. Beating up girls is easy. Chris Brown does it. What? Chris Brown doesn't beat people up for money. He doesn't? What? No. Then why'd he do it? Because he's an asshole. Oh, so you're saying we should sell Girl Scout cookies? Yes, that would be much easier. All right, let's go tell the other guys. Guys, guys, guys! Me and Cody found the fastest way to make $5,000. Well, I wouldn't say it's the fastest way to make $5,000. Me and Cody found the best way to make $5,000. I definitely wouldn't say it's the best way either. We found a way to make $5,000. Over time, yes. All right, guys, so we were at the door, and these Girl Scouts showed up and said, do you want to buy some cookies? And Cody gave them $10 for no reason. Well, I did get cookies. So, guys, I was thinking we could sell cookies, and we could make $5,000. That's a good idea, Junior! Yeah, that's a dope idea, dude! Junior, we're not going to make $5,000 just from selling cookies, and we we have to do it today. Well, Cody, we're gonna sell this one box of cookies for $5,000. Junior, that's insane. No one's gonna pay $5,000 for a box of cookies. Yes, they will. If we tell them that there's a possibility that there's $10,000 inside it, they'll pay $5,000 for it. That's a pretty big gamble, Junior. I don't think anyone's gonna do that. Yes, they will. Because if we tell them that there's $10,000 in that box, they're gonna say, hmm, I could double my money if I give them $5,000? Okay, Junior, I want you to think about this. First, we have to find somebody who has $5,000 in cash on them, which is pretty rare in this economy, and they also have to be dumb enough to pay $5,000 for a box of cookies. Cody, anything's possible. We landed on the moon. We're humans. We have thumbs. If caterpillars were trying to do this, I would say it's impossible. But we can make it happen. I, I will agree with you that caterpillars couldn't do this. All right, so guys, we have to find some Girl Scout outfits. Oh, I actually have some from role-playing with Ken. Okay, so you go get those outfits. Someone's gonna believe there's $10,000 in that box. Wait, there's $10,000 in that box, dude? See, Cody, someone will believe it. Let's go, guys. Okay. Okay, guys, this is the first house, and I feel like we're gonna get the $5,000. Hello? Hey, we're trying to sell Girl Scout cookies. But you guys aren't girls. Uh, oh, I forgot. Anybody can be a girl these days. Yeah, I'd love some Girl Scout cookies. Well, all we have is the mint cookie flavor. Oh, that's great. That's my favorite kind. Uh, what's that, like 10 bucks? Uh, hold on. Do you have change for 100? Uh, yeah, we have change for 100. Okay. Take this and run. Wait, wait, where's he going with my money? Oh, he's going to go get change from the car. But I don't see a car. Oh, it's parked way down the street. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, but while we, while we wait, I have an amazing opportunity for you, sir. Uh, okay, I'd like to hear it. What if I told you that there's $10,000 in this box of cookies? I wouldn't believe you. Well, if you give us $5,000, you'll have a chance to open up this box to see if there's $10,000 in it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That sounds like a terrible deal. Well, well do you have $5,000 anywhere in the house? No, no, I don't think I do. Oh. Is it? Is that kid gonna come back with my money? RUN! What? Hey, hey, you bastards! Get back here! Shit! Honey, shit! What's wrong, Boydie? Well, these kids came to the door dressed like Girl Scouts and they scammed me out of $100. I should've known something was fishy when they weren't girls. Aw, Boydie, you know kids will be kids. No, honey, they committed a felony! Well, did you at least get the cookies? No! God, I'm so, I'm so pissed. <sighs> Well, guys, we got $100. Yeah, we just need 4900 to go. Well, we only have to go to 49 more houses, Cody. Well, yeah, and we have to hope that everybody gives us $100 and asks for change, and then we run off every time. Stop being a negative Nancy, Cody. That's my mommy's name. Wait, wait, dude, you got 100 bucks? Sick. Wait, Joseph, why weren't you trying to sell cookies with us? Because I told you I'm not doing manual labor, dude. Well, technically, guys, we did get the $100 we needed to buy more robots. I mean, yeah, that's true. We could just buy more robots. I mean, it's up to you, Jeffy. Do you want to buy the robots or go to 49 more houses? Hmm. 
Okay, guys, let's fight with our robots. Yeah, we're two bad bitches. But you're no match for my boss. All right, guys, let's fight. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my God. We're kicking your ass. My bitch is beating up your boss. My, oh, my boss is kicking your bitch's ass. No, it isn't. My bitch is bitch in your boss. <laughs> Marvin, why are you biting your nails? Because I'm worried that Jeffy's not gonna get the money in time. So you don't have the money. Oh, Goodman. Good thing I brought the scissors. What are the scissors for? Oh, he didn't tell you? Oh, Pooby, banana me. Hey, what's up? Do you mind peeling that banana for me, Pooby? Oh, yeah, sure. What's the banana for? Oh, you'll see. The banana represents Marvin's wiener. Oh, it's not that big. And since he doesn't have my house payment, <laughs> graphic, I know. Hey, you gonna finish this banana? No, Pooby, you can have it. Oh, thank you. So you guys watching the video, just know every time you are watching a video, Pooby is behind the couch eating a banana. So go ahead and like the video. For every like that you give us, that's another banana for Pooby. So Marvin, since you don't have my money, whip it out. Uh, Jeffy might have the money. L let me go check. No, we can't get money there. Take oh, that, no, no, no. Hey, Jeffy, where's my money? Oh, I gave up on now. We're playing with robots. Oh, Jeffy, you owe me five thousand. Come on. Okay, Goodman, look, it's Jeffy's fault. He's the one that destroyed your car. So if anyone should get their banana snipped, it's him. Marvin! Baby, my, my, my wiener. It's not like we use it. Well, Marvin, I have a special punishment for Jeffy. Come with me. Is this your car? Yep. Is this the brick that you use to wash my car? Watch like it. Well, I'm gonna wash your car. <laughs> Don't you ever touch my car again! Ooh, Marvin, what do you think he's doing to Jeffy? I don't know, baby, but I'm worried about my wiener. I don't want it to get snipped off. <gasps> his scissors. Ooh, baby, hide his scissors. Oh, okay. All right, Marvin, I just punished Jeffy. I threw a brick at his car. Now we're even. Now for you, young man, you didn't pay your house payment. So now I'm going to snip off your wiener. Wait a minute. Where, where are my wiener snipping scissors? I left them right here. Uh, I, I don't I don't know. I haven't seen them. Well, I can't snip wieners without my wiener snipping scissors. And I can't just use a regular pair of scissors. Darn, Marvin. I guess it's your lucky day. I guess I'm just gonna have to punch you in the dick instead. Oh, oh, oh my god! And you bet your dick I'm gonna order me a new pair of wiener snipping scissors, and then next month, when you don't have your house payment, I'm gonna snip your wiener clean off your body. You know what? Better yet, I'm gonna snip it long way so it looks like a snake tongue. Oh, uh, well, I guess is the best outcome that could have happened today. What do I do? What do I do? Hey, Boiny, you look so stressed out. That's because I am stressed out, Karen. Why are you in your dentist uniform? You don't work today. Oh, it's National Love Your Dentist Day. What? Yeah, it's June 2nd. This is the day where everybody calls up their dentist and tells them how much they love them and appreciate what they do for their teeth. That's not a real thing, Boiny. Yeah, it is. Oh, hold on, Karen. My phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, thank you for fixing my teeth. Yeah, you're welcome. I love you. Okay, thanks, buddy. Hey, you keep flossing. You hear me? Ugh, my phone has been blowing up all day. Boiny, that's just silly. Oh, look here. You got us a rotisserie chicken. I guess I don't have to cook dinner tonight. Well, of course I got us a rotisserie chicken, Karen. It's National Rotisserie Chicken Day. What? Yeah, June 2nd. No, Boiny, th th there's no way there can be more than one holiday in a day. Sure there can, Karen. It's June 2nd. It's also National Rocky Road Ice Cream Day. What? Yeah, and I got to get this ice cream down to the strip club. Why, Boiny? Well, because it's also National Sex Workers Day. Boiny, you're not going to the strip club. Oh, hold on, Karen. My phone's ringing again. Hello? Hey, buddy. I'm sorry I forgot what today is. That's okay. I love you. Yeah, okay. Well, thank so you. So much. Yeah, th thank, thank you. Thank you for the teeth. Yeah, thank you. Boyne, why aren't you saying I love you back? Well, it's National Love Your Dentist Day, not Love Your Patient Day. That's a completely different day. But look, Karen, I'm already really stressed out because they're throwing me a big I love my dentist party down at the dentist office. And of course, I have to go because I'm the dentist. But I also really want to go to the Rotisserie Chicken Eating Contest Festival downtown. But it's also Rocky Road Ice Cream Night down at the strip club because whenever you go there, it makes your marriage a rocky road. Boyne, you can't do all that stuff in one day. It's impossible to be all in those places at once. Hmm, you're right, Karen. I should clone myself. No, Boyne, I think you should stay at home with me. No, it's okay, Karen. I heard you the first time. Clone myself. Good idea. No, Boyne, hang out here with me. Yeah, I'm gonna go figure out how to clone myself. Thanks, Karen. Boyne, that's not what I said! There's no way you think you'd be safer in the woods with a bear than a man. But I don't know what that man would do to me, Junior. I know what the bear would do to you. The bear would eat you. You don't know that. Well, bear is a term for a big hairy gay dude, so I'm gonna pick bear. Hey, any of you kids have a clone machine? Yeah, Cody has a clone machine. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I gotta clone myself because I have a whole bunch of shit to do today. What do you have to do on a Sunday? It's June 2nd, so it's National Rotisserie Chicken Day, Rocky Road Ice Cream Day, Sex Worker Day, and National Love Your Dentist Day. Oh, I forgot. It's also National Bubba Day. I gotta call my buddy Bubba. Hello? Hey, Bubba. Thanks for being Bubba. Oh. Oh, no problem, bud, and thank you for being my dentist. I love you. Love you too, buddy. 
Well, there's a lot of holidays today. Yeah, it's also National Cancer Survivor Day. Oh, and National Janice Day. I forgot to call Janice. Hello? Hey, Janice. Thanks for being Janice. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for being my Janice. I love you. Love you, too. And hey, congratulations on surviving cancer. Oh, thank you. Hey, didn't you just get off the phone with Bubba? Yeah, I did. Oh, is that the dentist? Sure is. Wait, he's there? Yeah, we're engaged. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. You want to come to the wedding today? Wait, oh, wow, well, what a day. I mean, Bubba and Janice, the cancer survivors, are both getting married on Bubba and Janice and Cancer Survivor Day. We sure are. Yeah. Hey, what What did he say? He said uh, that he was going to come to the wedding, right? You're coming to the wedding? Yeah, I'll come to the wedding. Awesome. <laughs> oh, tell him I love him. Hey, Bubba says he loves you, and I love you, too. Love you both. Oh, fuck, I have to go to a wedding now. Hey, Dad, can you also make a clone for me to have a father that's actually around? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was wine like a little bitch day. Fuck you, Dad. Oh, if it was National Ground Your Daughter Day, I'd do it, but it's not, so go home and eat your Rocky Road ice cream. Fine! And your rotisserie chicken, but brush your teeth and don't eat too much. Ugh. Anyway, clone machine, please. Yeah, Cody, grab your clone machine. Ugh. He needs it. All right, here it is. The cloning machine. C -c -c cloning machine. C -c 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 cloning machine. Patent approved. What's it do? Shut up, Junior. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna need like three more of me. Okay, no problem. Just uh, hop on in there. Like this? Yeah. Right, get in there. Okay. And then I just set this to quadruple mode. And now we wait. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Okay, everybody look at me. Hey, you look just like me. Hey, you look just like me. Hey, you look just like me. Okay, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I am the original Brooklyn guy, okay? That is why I am wearing clothes. Now, we have a lot to do today, okay? So you, you're gonna go to a rotisserie chicken eating contest festival. Got it. And you, you're gonna go to a wedding. It's Bubba and Janice. They're cancer survivors. Get them a nice gift. Got it. And you, you, hey, hey, you, yeah. You're gonna go to an I Love My Dentist party, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, so just put on this outfit. There you go, not looking too shabby. Isn't he a Scooby-Doo? No, that's Shaggy. I said shabby. You got me in the closet? It wasn't me. No, that's also Shaggy. Look, you have to go be a dentist at an I Love My Dentist party, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so where are you gonna go since they're doing your errands? I'm gonna go eat Rocky Road ice cream at a strip club. So thanks for the cloning machine, guys. Oh man, I can't wait to eat ice cream and look at boobies. What? What the hell, guys? Oh, hey, Brooklyn guy, what's up? Oh, hey, Brooklyn guy, what's up? Boobies! What? Guys, what the hell are you doing here? I sent you guys out to go do stuff. You're supposed to be at a rotisserie chicken eating contest festival, you're supposed to be at a wedding, and you're supposed to be at the dentist party. But we heard you were gonna eat ice cream and go to a strip club, and that just sounded like a lot more fun. Well, yeah, of course it's a lot more fun. That's why I'm the one doing it. You guys are supposed to be out there doing the things I don't want to do as much. That's why you're the clones. Oh my god, quadruplets. That's like four times the cash. Four times the penis. Guys, get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you too, buddy. But I like the boobies. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm staying here and you're going to the dentist party. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, ma'am. Now just to eat my ice cream. <laughs> we are gathered here today to witness the union of Bubba and Janice, two cancer survivors who love rotisserie chicken. I love you, Janice. Aw, oh, shoot, I love you, Bubba. If anybody has any reason why these two should not be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. I object. What? I'm just kidding. Sorry I'm late, everybody. Hey, that's our dentist. Our dentist? Hey, I love that guy. I love you, man. Okay. I love you, too. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, buddy. Hey, what are you trying to do to my wife? What the hell was that? I, I was making out with her because she said she loved me. No, you were trying to get with my wife. I wasn't born yesterday. Well, I was actually born today. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, man. I love you. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of what you just tried to do to my wife, but I still love you because you're my dentist. Okay, I'm getting really mixed signals here. Is it okay if I kiss your wife or not? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, you want to fight, buddy? Hell yeah, wedding fight. Oh shit, I hit the wrong guy. I'm I am so sorry. I, I'm embarrassed. I, I I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. Alright everyone, when the dentist gets here, we're all gonna yell surprise, we love you to show him how much we love him. Oh yeah, the dentist is gonna love that. Balloon. Surprise, we love you! Ah! Ow, why'd you punch me in the face? Scared. Doctor, you don't have to be scared. This is your surprise we love you dentist party. Nello. Yes, that balloon is yellow. Green. Yes, that balloon's green. Bunk. All right, doctor, did you get into the laughing gas again? Gas. I can poop. All right, he definitely did. Uh, hey, doctor, Linda from HR has something to say. Well, Mr. Brooklyn guy, I know I've had to write you up a lot in the past, 
but I was thinking that since today is Love Your Dentist Day, that we could just wipe your slate clean as long as you promise not to do anything bad again. Boobies. I'm gonna <gasps> grab them. No! Ow! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, someone called 911! Hello and welcome to the Yummy Yummy Rotisserie Chicken Eating Contest Festival. Each of you has a rotisserie chicken in front of you, and the first person that eats all of their rotisserie chicken wins a $25 CC's Pizza gift card and $10,000 in cash. That $25 CC's Pizza gift card is as good as mine. $10,000? I could spend that on strippers. And now for the rules. You're not allowed to use your hands, only your mouth. All right, I'll see you later. All right, that was my side chick. Now for your rules, all you have to do is eat all your chicken. Three, two, one, yummy, yummy chicken time. No, 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 you just said yummy, yummy chicken time. You're losing, you're losing. Oh my God, I am losing. Uh, I'm taking the money. Oh my God, he stole the prize money. Someone call the cops, hurry. Oh damn, oh damn, 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 she's going crazy, look at her, damn. Whoa, whoa, guys, what are you doing here? You done already? Uh, yeah, I won the contest and I got $10,000. Oh, nice, we can use that on the strippers. Hey, how'd the wedding go? Um, you made an appearance. They definitely know you were there. Oh, nice. And how'd the dentist party go? Boobies. Uh, okay, w w was Linda from HR there? You didn't embarrass me in front of Linda, did you? No. Okay, good. Guys, quit your yapping. Boobies! Big old knockers! Officer Simmons, get in here! Yes, sir? It seems your partner, Officer Guy, has gone rogue. <gasps> oh, no! He's stolen $10,000 and assaulted multiple people, and he needs to be stopped. <coughs> What's wrong with him? <laughs> I don't know. He's just unhinged. I'll understand if you don't want to bring him in. I can send a different officer. <coughs> no, sir. No, he's my partner. I have to bring him in. Okay, bring him in dead or alive. All right, but before I go, can I have some of your Rocky Road ice cream? No, you can have some ice cream when you bring Officer Guy in here. Now go and get it. Yes, sir. My rocket roll. Freeze, Guy, you're under arrest. What's going on? What's going on? Simmons, what's going on? Boobies. You know what you did. What? Why are there four of you? Oh, yeah, I cloned myself, and these are all my clones. What did they do? Well, you stole $10,000 from a contest, you punched a wedding officiant, and made out with the bride, and you also punched an HR lady. Wow, you guys really fucked up my life. So I'm going to have to arrest all four of you until I can figure out which one's the real you. No, Simmons, I'm the real one, and these are all clones. No, I'm the real one. No, I'm the real one. Boobies. No, Simmons, ask a question only I would know. All right, what color am I? Eyes. Blue. Oh, right, you're the real one! But no, no, Simmons, everybody can see your eyes. He just answered first. That's a real question. All right. What does your mom scream out when I'm banging her? No, Simmons, I'm not answering that. Come on, man. I know you heard it. <sighs> Chew poppy mignogno. No, say it the way she says it. Ugh. Chew poppy mignogno. Oh, you're the real one! Bang, bang, bang! What the fuck, Simmons? You didn't have to execute them. You could have just arrested them. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I thought we were in, like, a movie or something. No, no, they weren't holding me at gunpoint. Jesus, do you know how traumatizing it is to see yourself get shot three times? Well, I'm sorry, mate. Maybe next time don't fucking clone yourself or something. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. God, this is the worst June 2nd I've ever had. I'm going home.